hello guys welcome here so in this video i will show you how to deploy your full munch tech project with the help of render and github so let's begin so first of all you have to create a separate folder for your front end and back end part so i will be creating that so i will first create my front end folder like i will name it as mun front end front and another folder for backend. I will give as mon back. So we will first do it for backend. So let's do that. So this is my main project in which uh, I have created. Uh, there are both folders, front and backend. Now I will, uh, I will copy all the folders and files from this. I will just copy this and paste where we have created a new folder this is back so I will paste over here so now this is complete for backend now I have to deploy it on github I have to first push it to github so for that I will be using github so github I will be So github.com so I will be creating a new repository for that and giving it a name as a backend mon back you can give any name to it so I will be creating my repository so now I will copy this link and now I will open VS Code. I will be pushing with the help of VS Code. So I will be opening my folder. I'll open folder and I will open that folder which we have created recently. So that is our uh, mon back. So I will be selecting this folder. Now I will be pushing this. So to push this, you have to initialize repository first. So give it any message. I have been giving first. Now we have to press Control Enter. Now you have to select Push to here, and now it will be showing this. Now you have to click on Add Remote. Now you will be paste your link that you have copied from the GitHub. You have to paste it here. Now press Enter. Now you have to give it as a name. I will giving my name press enter now now again you have to push push to and click this link and now your all your files and folders are pushed into github you can check so if you reload this page you can see all these folders are pushed so our backend part is complete now you will be opening render.com First, you have to create your account in this it is totally free without any cost you will be deploying your full monster project here so i will sign in click on sign in so you will be click on new now you have to choose web service not static site because our site is not static so we have to choose web service click on web service and now you have to deploy this like we have it will uh, fetch from your github all the uh, repositories from this so uh, we have recently deployed this a minute ago it is showing so we will be connecting this repository from github just click on connect now we have to give this name like i am giving mon back again for this okay now you have to just keep, keep this as idle now here you now what you have to write here you have to write all the packages modules that you have used in your uh, project like I have already made this project so I will be just clicking on suggestions so I have used this all these modules you have to write that individually like npi the module name not modules this is first module second module course and then mongos express bcrypt express validator json web token stripe and uid and if 
another you have if you have used some another modules or you have not know about the modules you can uh, check your project again and find which modules you have used so you will be writing all the module names here so now you have to just write note index.js index.js is the file where you have connected your database so just now you have to create click on create web service just now it will take some time this is a console window where you will be getting all the errors and all the consoles here so it will be like you can see that your commands are being run whatever you write in the that where i have shown you all these will be run and installed so this will take time so let's create a another folder for front end it will take some time so all that we will be doing doing front end part so in this is our front end uh, now i have to copy the front end now keep remember that we didn't have to copy this back end because this is a separate folder now you, and also you have to exclude this no modules folder you just have to copy the public src folder and this package or less you can just you need only these four files and folders so copy this and paste it over this uh, the folder front end okay so now one thing you have to do over here is like we have deployed our like here you can see that you have deployed your this project uh, this backend part when you will open it will show hello like it is working properly so now you have to edit your link just copy this and open vs code and open that folder that we have recently created so that is folder in volume d uh, final react js and that folder name was mon front so open that folder and just replace that link with our new link so i will be doing that so opening my folders it was in uh, not in public it was in src in components and in home.js i think yes yes it was there so remove this link because it was a local server now we have created a live server so paste over here our backend server and also on the context i have used the local link so also just paste over all these links yes now it is over so just now you will save this and now you have to again push this so for pushing open your github i had opened github so this was github now create one more repository for your front end part give it as a name mon front okay now create your this repository just i will be doing it fast because i've already explained you how to push so just copy this now initialize your repository give it as any name i will give it as a first press control enter push to add remote copy. So now you can see that yes your front end part is complete so now again open your this server create on click on new web service and you can see yes yes you can see the month front we have recently pushed this in on github so connect on this similar uh, similar process you have to follow so name it as month front so now in this we have to write npm install only because this is a front end part it will install all the required modules and we haven't used any modules 
apart from this npm and now just in the start button we will be right npm start oh sorry 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 npm start yes now you will be just click on create web service yes now you will be showing you will be yes now it is showing our console part it will be running all the commands that we have written over there it will take some time so um one thing we i forgot is that you have to use only the mongodb atlas because uh, i have opened recently yes you have to use only mongo atlas because mongo campus is only local server so and also you have in atlas you have to give network access to public uh, it will take some time yes here you uh, you have to write this as an ip address which is 0, .0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0 which is public so that everyone can access otherwise uh, uh, the ip address if you given your ip address then no uh, if you open the link in some another pc then you will not able to access your database so it is preferred to use this ip address which is public so i will click on confirm uh, if you see on what is yes over here yes it is running yes you can see that it is showing a message your service is live so you can just click on your link this is your link for your website this is just giving a warning there is no part for this like it the, the warning is will not generate any error in your website it is just a warning only so it will take some time just wait for one to two minutes because the database is going to fetch and your front-end part is again going to fetch from that link that we have written over in the front-end part so it will take some time just wait just be patient within two minutes we will be able to get access to your website here you can see yeah. so your website is has been deployed so i will just log in because i already logged in clicking on login yes now you can see you can able to access your database you can also check on your pc you can check this link enter this link and you will be able to access this website it will take some time when you begin and after that you can easy able to access it is easily thank you for watching my video hope you find this video informative if you have any error or you some uh, you got stuck somewhere you can comment i will try to reach out thank you bye bye